It's time to give your work life and ultimately yourself a much needed boost. One woman has written all about how to save your career without leaving your job. It's called the Red Cape uh -huh. Rescue, and now I want to welcome Darcy Eichenberg to Bluff City Life. Good afternoon, Darcy. Hi. Hey Andy, nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Okay, so we're talking about the new year. A lot of people, a lot of people think about new beginnings this time of year, and that might include thinking about a new job. But you have some things that we need to think about before we start considering a career move, right? Yeah, because sometimes so much has changed that the right job for you might be within reach of where you are in your own company or even changing the job that you're doing in a way that works better for you. There are so many options today that are, uh, we never have had before. And so what are some of these things that we need to consider whenever we're potentially thinking about a career move? Yeah. Well, first, I think this time of year is the perfect time where we need to not look back on what hasn't happened, but to look back and celebrate what's worked. There's so much that we've done that we don't give ourselves credit for, the relationships we've built, the challenges that we've overcome, uh, just keeping ourselves moving forward. So making sure that we take a look first and celebrate what's worked. And because that also gives us clues about things we want to have more in our life at work going forward. Okay, well, so as a career and leadership expert, what are some of the things that you've heard from professionals whenever it gets to be this time of year? Well, you know, one of the things we can fall into a trap, and this is, I worry about this trap that we get in of listening to all the negativity of, oh, the year is hard, and, you know, look, we're going into even more COVID uh, restrictions and concerns. But when we say to ourselves, well, I'm stuck, or things are hard, sure. we put a mindset in place where it's very hard for us to move forward and to be optimistic. And so to stop saying we're stuck and to think about ways, if I had a magic wand, <laughs> what is something that I could change uh, that I would change? And often we clue ourselves into a lot more things that we could change that we didn't think were possible, but that are very possible today. Yeah, so all it takes is just a little bit of deep thinking whenever it comes to, like you say, you don't really need a magic wand. So, well, okay, so one of the things that I think a lot of people get caught up in, I know I'm guilty of it as well, is just assuming, well, you know what, this, this next year is going to be just the same as last year. But that's a big right. mistake, right? Oh, it is the perfect time to challenge our assumptions. Anything that's getting in your way, anything that's holding you back, this is the time to say, how do I know that that's still true? You know, we often get into these assumptions about there's no opportunity for me here. I can't grow anymore here. They won't pay me more here. But the truth is, how do I know? And how do I know until I ask for what I need? How do I know until I get clear about what I really want? And those things are so important as we take back control of our careers for the new year. Well, let's talk a little bit more about that. Taking a little bit of control, taking a little bit of initiative, you can actually go a long way into making yourself more valuable to, to investments your career. Right? In, absolutely. You know, Andy, investments in yourself are the only ones that are never going to decrease, right? No matter what the economy, no matter what's happening in the country, your community, when you invest in your own growth, when you invest in learning, invest in just taking the time to listen to yourself and to know what is my superpower space? You know, when am I feeling at my best and highest use? Those kind of investments always pay off and they don't have to cost a lot of money. YouTube, podcasts, there's so much access today. Of talking to a friend who's doing a, doing a type of work or having a type of life that you might like to model. Those things are all ways to invest in ourselves and to keep learning. And I think one thing that a lot of people don't think about is they, they think, oh, well, I don't have the time to do that. Yeah, I think people, you actually have more time than you think you do for these little investments in yourself, right? We are all armed with the same amount of time. What we tend not to do is to make the choices around that Absolutely. time. We tend to let everybody else use our time. But you can set aside time now. This time of year is the perfect time to look at your calendar now and start to block in some of that time for you to learn, to, uh, to take a class online or to just 
talk and build relationships with other people in your company or in your field. This is a great time that you can plan that investment in your own growth right now. Yeah, I had a coach who used to say we all got the same 24 hours. That's all in how you use them. So, but one of the so one true. of the other important things with that is making sure that you don't burn yourself out, right? Right, right. And certainly we've seen the past couple of years and in so many professions, people who um, are getting overwhelmed and exhausted. And if that's you, absolutely, you need to take the time that you need. But one of the things I think we forget is that we expect that everyone else is going to create our boundaries. Everyone else is going to focus on our personal well-being. But you're the expert in your boundaries. You're the expert in where enough is enough and how much how what kind of stress that you can manage the same thing Andy that stresses you out might be easy to me and vice versa so um, there are ways we have to take control and focus on our personal well-being and learn how to say no when there are things that we they're beyond our boundaries and learn how to say yes to the things that feed us and that build us up well we thank you so much for joining us today. I think we've all learned a lot about what we need to be thinking about whenever it comes to our career going into the new year. So thank you so much for joining us. We certainly appreciate it, Darcy.